First of all, find out what way you're like foot forward, because yeah, don't be fuck footed. Um, no, the most common thing is right foot forward, turn left. Left foot forward, turn right. You could be goofy footed and mess yourself up. You don't really want to do that, because it'll take you a lot longer. Uh, right, we're gonna start off. You need to know how to American bunny hop. This is a, an American. Bunny. Yeah. Yeah, that will not help in learning 360s and other tricks. Yeah, just because like if you do 180s like that, then you can't do it over anything at all. Because if you want to do it over a wall, if you do like a bunny hop rather than American, then you can't really do it. And proper flat threes don't really work for that. Proper American bunny hops. Yeah, you've got to have the pop. You have to level yourself out. Yeah, anyway. Um, give a few examples of bunnies. Yeah. Main thing's the head, as you pull up, like, you need to turn your head so you're looking that way to, to then throw your body around. Because, like, unless you've already learnt them, you can't really one eight tail like that. It doesn't really work. Turning your head is a vital part in learning 180s. Yeah. Turning your shoulders and your whole body. It will be very hard to learn at first, but you will get the hang of it. You just got to keep trying. So the main, step, the main steps, turn your head your whole body along with it because where your head goes your body will follow it's pretty simple mm. oh yeah one tip we also forgot fakies you need to get them dialed yeah first because you'll probably end up doing horrible things if you don't learn fakies yeah so i learned fakies first i'll see if i can not yeah because if you just do a 180 like yeah, yeah it just, it just looks horrible problems with that so yeah find like a bank or something or just push off a wall but Pushing off a wall doesn't really help because if you're on a bank and it gets the speed going considerably. Or, or like a steepish hill yeah. to be alright for that. And don't like 180 with absolute no speed because it doesn't help. Because yeah. go about one and a bit of cranks I guess, like proper full cranks I'd say. But I mean whatever's comfortable but that's just a recommendation. Yeah because it's what we learned. it helps just trying to get, to get the fakie out if you're a bit faster. Like, cause if you like that speed, you want it there. That'll be a lot harder because yeah. you're stalling the fakie. But if you're like, then you get fakie. Another easy way to get the feet, uh, the 180 momentum, is to actually do it on a bank or on a hill, Thank yeah. you. and just start off coming in at an angle and keep going round, and then your body will kind of get used to the motion of turning 180 degrees, yeah. and then you start trying them properly flat. You probably do this your first few times. If you like climbing, you do it. Or, or both feet, I'll come yeah. down. I've seen a few people do I've that. Done that. I did that. Oh, the 90 point. The thing's like, yeah, got them down. And yeah, that's whatever. <laughs> you can really fix that. Because with that, your head's not even turned at all. You're just yeah. going with the bike. So we'll just do a couple ways that you can get out of uh, flat 180s. Like sliding, hopping out. Half cabs. <laughs> got a thing, but. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Happy to help you and uh, good luck with your 180s. Yeah, and like and subscribe for more. Yeah, cheers.